Hello and welcome back to my channel. As I mentioned in the <laughs> video last week, that's the one, thank you brain, I look the same but never fear because I'm going to be trying on wigs today in this video so I'm gonna end up taking all of this stuff off my head anyway. Um, today's video is an unboxing, review and try on haul from two brands that have sent me things to show you guys and I'm really excited actually because these parcels arrived weeks ago and they've just been sitting in my wardrobe. I've already opened them because they didn't say what they were on the front so I had to double check what was in there. The two stores I'm going to be reviewing from today are Unzi and Uvimi. I'm assuming I'm pronouncing that right, I don't know. They're both the same kind of thing. Asian fashion pastel kawaii aesthetic store. Cute kawaii Harajuku street fashion store. There's a theme here, clearly. But yeah, super excited to open packages from them. Uvimi have sent me some wigs to try on and Unzi Store have sent me some shoes and clothes. I'm not sure whether to open them, show you and then do the try on thing, like each individual or do a whole try on thing at the end. Hmm. Let's open them all first and then try them on at the end. That just seems easier, right? Yeah. So the first thing I've pulled out of the Unzi store packet is this amazing pastel coat that I've seen online for years and years and years. And I've always dreamed of owning. So when I saw it on their website, I got super excited. They come in these little Ziploc bags, which actually are really useful. I'm probably going to end up keeping wigs and stuff in here. Ooh. Oh my God. I can finally be a human piece of candy. This is actually a lot softer than I was expecting it to be. It's got little elasticated sleeves with this little piece of velcro so you can make them tighter if you want. It's got this little hood that you can... Oh, is it one of those rolly-uppy ones? This back piece of the collar folds out so you can actually like roll up the hood and velcro it like that oh my god so you can have it just as like a little collar coat type thing that is so cool look at, look at the colors amazing it's even got pockets oh i love this so much i hope it fits me because i think it's a medium and I never trust Asian sizing, obviously. So yeah, we'll see at the end of the video if that actually fits me or not, but it's still adorable. If it's too tight, I might have to sell it, but I don't want to. The second item of clothing from Unzi is this really cute jumper. And it says heartbreaker on it. It's got these cute little red hearts down the sleeve and oh, it's nice and soft. It's actually really thin, which will be really good for summer. A lot of the sweaters I have are quite thick and I don't have a lot of red and pink stuff, even though I really like the combo, especially when it's like love hearts or strawberry themed. Probably end up cropping this and like wearing it with the long sleeves, but then cutting it underneath the text and wearing it with like a cute skirt or something. I don't know why I just smell so that was weird. The third item of clothing is a big oversized lavender sweatshirt. I was really excited for this one because it just looked so cute on the website. Oh, it's in like three parts. That's weird. Oh my god, it's got detachable sleeves! Has it? 
or am I just being mental? No, yes it has. <laughs> this is what the front looks like. Um, it's got eyelet holes here where I'm assuming this goes through. There's like a type of corset lacing at the front and then the back has a big moon and stars on it. How cute is that? And it's very, very baggy and oversized, which I love. And then it's got sleeves. There are little elasticated loops actually in the shoulder part of it along here. So, oh my God, that's even cuter. So the sleeves get buttoned inside the shoulder part and then you've kind of got a double layering. What a unique little item of clothing. I can't wait to try that on. The fourth and fifth items are actually the same, but just in different colors. They are two holographic skirts, which I'm excited about, but also kind of dreading because I have a really weird figure. Oh, they're a size extra large, I'm sure they'll fit. <gasps> wow, I love this, oh my gosh. That is a Barbie dream house color if I ever did see one. And then we've got the holographic version. They both have little zips at the side. They kind of feel like a pleathery kind of material. So they're quite soft. I was expecting them to be kind of more plasticky feeling. And then the sixth and seventh items are shoes, which is always a bit dodgy especially when it comes to Asian sizing. I am a size UK 5, which is a European 38. I'm not sure what it is in US sizing, but I think in Japanese sizing it's 24.5 or something like that. <gasps> Look at these. Oh my God. They're so cute, oh my gosh. I wish they sold shoes like this in normal shoe shops, like this kind of color. They do look a bit small, but we shall just have to wait and see. That's what they look like. Oh, they've got little love hearts on and they seem really like soft and squishy inside and they don't have laces which is amazing which means you can just kind of slip them on and i just love these colors so much it's so rare to find cute shoes in like adult sizes i feel like every time i go shopping i just get shoe envy when i look at the kids shoes because they're so cute and they don't even appreciate them i get jealous of kids clothes as well like all the time Especially in places just like Asda or Tesco, that's big supermarkets. When they have like baby grows and little dresses and they're just the cutest colours. And it's like, why isn't this in my size? <laughs> I think a lot of people that are into pastel clothing do that though. So these are the second pair of shoes. These are the ones I was really hyped about because they look amazing. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness. They are so cool. So these ones do have laces um, and they've got extremely thick soles. I don't wear platforms that often because I like being tiny. Even though I think that the way platforms look are so much cooler than other shoes and I love it when I see people in the street, especially alternative people wearing like massive platforms. I think they look so cool. Look at this color. I love this so much. I wish the entire shoe was just this, but I feel like they'd get damaged really quickly. I might change the laces because as much as I adore these, I don't like this colour very much, this kind of, it's literally like a skin colour, it's like a beigey kind of sadness. So maybe I'll change the laces, but other than that they're so so cute. I like the suede just here. Okay, that's everything from Unzi. Um, 
Now I'm gonna show you the wigs from Uvimi and then I will try everything on. So Uvimi sent me three wigs and they all look incredible. I can't wait to try these. This is the first one. Look at those colors. Oh my gosh. This one goes with my outfit as well. Wow. Oh my God. That's like unicorn hair. Oh, it's so pretty. The gradient from the mint to the purple is like so dreamy and it's so soft. Oh. And it's got this cute little mint fringe at the front as well. Oh, it's just like Christmas. Oh, I always feel so overprotective over new wigs because I so desperately don't want to mess them up. As always, they come with wig caps. Oh, they gave me a black one and a blonde one. That's nice. All inclusive here at Uvimi. So, oh, and another one. Then we've got a pink one and a blue one. This one looks curly. Sorry, that was really creepy. I like curly hair. Oh my. Look at this. This is one of the prettiest wigs I've ever seen. I love curls like this so much. Look how bouncy it is. Oh my goodness. Got a little fringe at the front as well. And this one's like a gradient from a kind of dusty sky blue to a mint. Oh my gosh. I can imagine doing some like a rain or cloud themed look with this wig. I just like bouncing it. And that's nice as well because I don't really have like a blue, blue wig. So this is the last one. Oh, it's a short one. Oh yes, I remember now. <gasps> That's really cute. Oh, it's kind of it's kind of got like a gold tinge to it, which is quite nice. I mean, in the natural light it looks quite baby pink, but on camera it's almost like a a kind of gold. That is so cute as well. I don't have many short wigs. So it would be nice to do a look with that one. Okay, that is everything. Time to try stuff on. So this is me trying on the jacket. Um, it's really, really cozy and it fits, which is absolutely awesome, which means I don't have to sell it. Um, I feel really cute in it. And this is me attempting to zip it up, which took too much of a long time. And I look like a marshmallow when it's zipped up. It's not the most flattering thing in the world. Uh, this is what the hood looks like. And yeah, I think it is a lot better open, like a jacket. I think I'd wear it a lot more like that. This is the Heartbreaker sweater. It fits quite nicely as well. Um, I absolutely am in love with the heart sleeves. I think they are so cute. But I think I would get a lot more use out of this if it was cropped like that. I think crops just suit the style of clothing I like to wear more and are more flattering on me, basically. This is the oversized long sleeve short sleeved um, moon and stars hoodie thing and I absolutely love the way that this fits. It's super comfortable and it looks really, really cute. I took the ribbon that it comes with and popped it through the eyelet holes and sleeves. I only put one on so you could see the difference between the long sleeved and the short sleeved on either side and this is what it looks like with the hood up. So this is the Barbie Dreamhouse skirt as I'm calling it. It's absolutely gorgeous, fits quite nicely but there is a bit of a gap in the back where the waist is um, but I tried it on with my little pink belt that I was wearing with my outfit before and it looks really really cute now time for the holographic version this one goes so nicely with the outfit it makes me really really happy again it's the same kind of fit with a little bit of space in the front um, but I tried it on with the belt again and because it's the same 
style of skirt it fit as well and looked really cute so now I'm trying on the shoes but I think I'm gonna have to shift the camera to give you guys a proper shot of how they look this is how they look on my feet they are super duper comfortable and um, this is what they look like in the mirror on my feet um, I'm gonna be able to wear these to work which is really cool because they're flat and comfortable these are the second pair of shoes I love how bright they look in the daylight and they are even more comfortable than the other pair which is surprising because they're really comfy too um, that's what they look like in the mirror and yeah that's basically it for the try on okay and we're back for the trying on of the wigs I'm gonna have to take all of this stuff off my head I have taken off and put this stuff back on like three times now um, it was just impossible to keep the stuff on to be honest just kept messing up. Oh, I'm gonna have to take my bunches out. I can't wait until I recurl my hair because it just looks ridiculous straight, to be honest. And this is what happens when you bleach your hair. It doesn't, it just stays poofy. So that's what the first one looks like. Um, it's a bit shiny obviously it's not like the most expensive wig in the world it's super soft though it kind of just looks a bit weird without anything else on there we go um, I'm not sure how I feel about the fringe to be honest I'll show it to you standing up as well It's really cute. I don't know if it suits me that much. Maybe it's just this style. I'm gonna try and pull it down a bit and then like clip the fringe to the side. Okay. I think I like that more than the other fringe to be honest. I'm not sure. It's super pretty though colors in it it's like I designed this makeup for this hair that's really funny I feel like Jeffree Star right now but like not rich <laughs> a discount version <laughs> yeah no it's pretty let's take this down oh okay Okay, this wig is so cute. Um, the fringe is like extremely long and I'm not sure how it's supposed to be styled. Um, so I've kind of just clipped it to the side for now, but it's, I mean, I'm actually in love with this wig. It's so pretty. I want one in every cover. <sighs> I wish this was my actual hair. Let me show it to you from the back. Oh, I love it so much. Look at it bounce. It's the little things, isn't it? So that's the fringe out of the clip. But yeah, this wig is adorable and I love it so much. So this is the third and final wig. I'm not really sure what to again do with the fringe because I'll show you what happens if I pull it back. Um, it's such a shame that it looks so gold on camera because it's quite a cute baby pink, like in real life. It doesn't really go with this makeup, but I think it'd be cute to make bunches with. Let me show you what it looks like. Um, the way the fringe is supposed to be like that but because it's very thin you can see the 
my hairline like the wig cap underneath i mean it's actually way cuter with the full fringe let's be honest um and i could just cover the fringe in clips and then it would be fine um but yeah this one's adorable as well actually i definitely think that the second one is my favorite but i love all three of them i think they're all really really cute um and that is the last item. So that brings us to the end of the video. Had lots of fun trying clothes on and dancing around to Drake. As always, all the links to all the shops will be down below. I'll also do a product list for you guys if you want to buy any of the items. And yeah, thanks again so much for watching. Keep it cute, keep it creepy, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.